What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Final Boss Garage. If you're watching this video, chances are you just did an LS1 swap and now you're looking to make your own intake. In this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to make your own intake and route it the way you like. You don't have to worry about shopping around looking for other vehicles that parts might or might not work for you. Um, it's going to be really easy. All you're going to need is a tape measure and that's about it. All right, everybody, this is my intake. Uh, I put it together using pieces from siliconeintakes.com. Uh, it's a pretty cheap site, and they have a huge variety of parts that you need. Uh, I live here in Las Vegas, so my goal when creating the intake was to use as little aluminum as possible just because summer temperatures do reach about 117 degrees. So my intake's composed of four parts, really. Uh, you have your... Uh, first coupler off the throttle body, it's a 90 degree angle, and then you have another one that's a 45 degree angle. Uh, you do have a small 3 inch piece of aluminum right here um, just to join the end of the coupler and the filter together, uh, but other than that, that's the only aluminum. Before you have the chance to decide what pieces you want to buy, first thing you got to do is we're going to take our tape measure and we're going to measure the outside diameter of the throttle body of your MAF sensor and then the air filter is going to depend on which air filter you decide to buy. So first things first we're going to measure uh, the distance across on our throttle body. Uh, it is four inches. Uh, this came off of a 2002 F body so if you have an F body this video is going to be really useful because I'm basically doing all the measurements for you. But if you're using a truck intake or, or a four bolt throttle body, chances are uh, your size is gonna be different. It'll probably be larger. The next measurement you have to do is on your MAF sensor. It's the same size, same size on both sides. The distance across on this one is three and a half inches. So my coupler going from my throttle body to the MAF sensor, the first big one, is a 4 inch, 90 degrees, reduced to a 3 and a half inch. This is the last piece to the intake. This is the part that goes down towards the inner fender well. This side is 3 and a half inch to match the MAF sensor. And then I bought a 4 inch air filter. Uh, it's designed to slip onto a pipe, so I had to buy a... Uh, three inches long, uh, four inches wide pipe, and slide the filter over it, and then the actual coupler itself goes from three and a half to four inches, and that slides over the pipe as well. And then as far as your your air intake temperature sensor, I went ahead and just poked a hole in my silicone, and I just slid the sensor right in. And this is how easy everything goes together. Make sure you remember to buy your clamps. There's different clamps for different uh, diameter sizes. So this one literally just slides on like that. I'm going to put on my MAF sensor, make sure the arrow is going towards the throttle body. Slides on like that. And then the last piece slides on like that and then you're going to tighten down all your clamps. And that's basically all I used. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I know it was super simple. Uh, a lot of you guys could have figured this out yourselves, uh, but I've just been receiving so many messages on how uh, how I made my intake. There are a couple videos out there already, like LSX Matt, uh, but a lot of those guys, uh, they're speed density, so they're not running MAFs, um, and they're like supercharged, or you know, they're they're running some other thing, and you know, we're all using the same website for our parts. So. Uh, siliconeintakes.com. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the part numbers in the description below. This whole setup cost me $81 and that's only because I used a expensive k and uh, name brand intake uh, or the filter itself. So if you go with a non name brand filter, uh, you can save a lot of money that way. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free, drop a message or a comment, anything you'd like. Uh, give a thumbs up if this video was useful. Um, I have a bunch of new videos coming out, so if you're not subscribed already, uh, please subscribe. Uh, and I'll make sure to get some good content headed out your way.